Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris and this is my channel Barnon 11970. I just wanted to show you the stray cat that we found. I mean, this cat is the most adorable cat you will ever find. I cannot believe how friendly this cat for a stray cat. I mean, <laughs> this cat will not let you stop petting him or her. We don't know yet. It looks like a her. But it's kind of hard to tell. With that cold weather, I could definitely tell, well, see, that uh, if things got tucked in. So I just wanted to show people that this cat is for real. And um, we tried to call a bunch of shelters, and um, we couldn't find anybody. All the places, all the no-kill no shelters... Um, they were full, and that's not surprising. They said in the winter time they get so many, they couldn't take any other cats. So, um, I, <laughs> it's the funniest thing. This cat, it's like the most aggressively wanting to love I've ever met in my life. I mean, I've had cats all of my life. When I was a kid, my mother always had cats. She would always take in strays. And the one thing I've noticed about any cat, and if you're a cat owner, you know this, Cats are not trustworthy of strangers. And this cat, and it's the funniest thing, is, uh, sorry about the mess, he's kind of making a little mess. But um, when I went to go get the mail, I saw mail on the front stoop, and I opened the door, all of a sudden this cat comes running in. It was just nonstop purring, it wanted to be held. It just, it gave me this look like, you know, thank you for saving me. And at first I couldn't... Uh, <laughs> I could not let it in, because I'm like, I have two other cats, and my one male cat, um, he goes crazy. I mean, he's hissing and growling, and just the scent on me makes him growl. And I had to put it outside, I thought, well, you know, maybe it's not a stray cat. Maybe it's owned by somebody. There you go. And um, it ended up sitting by my front stoop for over an hour. And then it started snowing, and I felt so horrible. I felt so guilty, because as you guys know, I love animals. And as soon as we put food and water down... I mean, last night, I was like, you know what? I tried to make some phone calls, and we found nobody who could take them. So I'm like, you know what? He's got to be in my basement for the time being. There's no way I could consciously let this cat just live out... Well, basically die out in the cold, because she was shivering. But we've decided... Since we can't find any owners, that we're going to keep her. Um, here's the thing I want to ask, and I know I'm probably going to get killed for this, but if it's for the help of this animal, I have no problem with this. Um, this cat has a problem with um, some kind of mouth disease. Um, it won't eat the dry food. It will only eat the soft food. So there's something wrong with his mouth. He's been drooling and everything, so he's going to need medical attention. And <laughs> it couldn't have come at the worst time. So, what I'm asking for anybody, if they can help with donations, I mean, this is something I never wanted on my channel, and this is not for me. Um, this is going to be going towards any kind of medical bills for this cat, because uh, there's no way in any good conscience I could just let this cat out into the streets and just take its chance. So, my wife and I, after trying to take care of her today, she made, um, she decided with me that we're going to keep this cat and hopefully get him used to it. But we we know, because she used to work at a vet's office, she said this is going to cost anywhere from 500 to to $1,000, depending on all the things, because we'd have to get it spayed or neutered. Um, there's some malnutrition. Hopefully with the food we're going to fix that. But, you know, there's a lot of things you have to do to get this cat. And with the mouth disease, that could get pretty expensive, and we can't put her in with the other cats yet because um, we don't want to get our other cats sick, because you guys know that my cat, Oregon, has uh, female AIDS. Um, supposedly, that's what the vet said, but he seems healthy. So um, there's going to be a link in the description below. My Oregon website, I'm opening up a special donation section. Um, it's not mandatory. Don't give if you can't. Um, I put the donations as low as $1.00. So even if somebody contributes a dollar, that's going to help. And um, 
yeah, I, I, I mean, I felt horrible doing this because I know some of my hater people are going to sit there and say, oh, you know, you finally found a way to get money. This is not about that. And um, that's why if it wasn't for this cat, this video would not exist. So I'm doing it to save this cat's life. And that's more important to me than some people that are going to hate me no matter what anyway. So I wanted to show that this cat is for real and obviously very hungry. And um, we want to love this cat and show that you do a little kindness. Good things can happen in this world. So if you can give anything, um, we'd really appreciate it. And um, if you can't, please don't worry. Um, one thing you can do, even if you can't, if you could share this video or post it on your social networks, that could get somebody else to help. So anything is going to be appreciated. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video, even if you cannot contribute, because that's not, you guys know, my subscribers know, that's not what my channel is about. So thank you for watching, guys, and I just wanted to show you this was something that was real. Uh, I love you all. Thank you.